For years, the S-500 dominated global headlines as Russia's most advanced shield against hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft, and space-based threats. But behind closed doors, Russian engineers were already working on something even more ambitious, something faster, smarter, and more devastating than anything before it. Today, we uncover the rise of the S-600, the new super defense system quietly reshaping the balance of military power. This is the story of how Russia made the leap from the S-500 to the S-600, and why analysts around the world are scrambling to understand its real capabilities. The transformation from the S-500 to the S-600 didn't start in a laboratory, but in a strategy room deep within Russia's defense command. After the S-500 entered service, Russian analysts began noticing a shift in global threat patterns. Hypersonic missiles were getting faster, stealth aircraft were becoming harder to track, and space was turning into a battlefield. The S-500 could counter many of these threats, but Russia knew that within a decade, global militaries, especially the United States, would push new technologies past the limits of current air defense systems. Russia's solution was simple but bold build a system that could handle the next 20 years of warfare, not the next two. The first stage of the S-600 project focused on radar evolution. The S-500 was already capable of tracking targets beyond the atmosphere, but the S-600 required something different, a radar that could simultaneously watch high-altitude hypersonic gliders, low-flying stealth drones, and orbital satellites. Russian engineers designed a hybrid sensor grid, integrating quantum-enhanced receivers, over-the-horizon arrays, and AI-driven interpretation tools. This allowed the S-600 to predict flight paths rather than simply react to them, giving it a major edge in speed-critical engagements. But radar was only the beginning. The real challenge lay in interception. The S-500 used advanced missiles capable of striking targets inside and outside Earth's atmosphere. The S-600 had to go further. Rumors inside Russian defense circles suggest that the new interceptor missile, known unofficially as the 79N6M2, can reach speeds previously considered impossible for surface-to-air weapons. Some analysts estimate it could exceed Mach 20 during terminal phase engagements, allowing it to chase down even maneuvering hypersonic vehicles. While Russia has not confirmed these numbers, the secrecy around the program itself hints at capabilities far beyond anything publicly disclosed. To support this new level of performance, Russia redesigned the launch platform entirely. Instead of the classic tube-based launchers seen on the S-300, S-400, and S-500 systems, the S-600 uses modular command units capable of deploying multiple missile types simultaneously. Each launcher works like a smart cell, choosing the right missile for the right threat in real time. For example, if a stealth drone and a ballistic missile appear at the same moment, the S-600 automatically assigns separate interceptors without waiting for human input. This automation cuts response times to fractions of a second, a huge advantage in modern warfare. Another breakthrough was the introduction of Russia's new combat AI network, said to be built on the same foundation as the country's latest aerospace command algorithms. Instead of relying on a single command vehicle, the S-600 operates on a distributed architecture. Every radar, launcher, and sensor contributes to the system's intelligence. If one unit is destroyed or jammed, the rest instantly fill the gap. This makes the system extremely difficult to cripple with electronic warfare or precision strikes. Western analysts call this design fluid defense because the system reshapes itself like water around the battlefield. The mobility of the S-600 is another key element. The S-500 was already highly mobile, but the S-600 takes this to an operational extreme, using lighter chassis materials, faster engines, and independent power units. This allows an entire S-600 battalion to relocate in minutes rather than hours. In today's warfare, where drones constantly hunt for targets, mobility is survival. Russia clearly understood this, building the S-600 to vanish before enemy intelligence can lock onto it. Perhaps the most surprising part of the S-600 story is how quickly it developed. Despite sanctions, supply chain pressure, and global political isolation, Russia accelerated its defense production through domestic manufacturing and advanced automation. 
Factories that once produced components for older systems were retrofitted with AI-controlled machining units that could work non-stop. This allowed Russia to shorten development cycles and test prototypes at a pace Western analysts didn't expect. Some defense experts believe the S-600 was already in limited testing while the S-500 was still being introduced, meaning Russia had been planning this leap for much longer than anyone realized. As details begin to emerge, one thing is clear, the S-600 is designed for a future battlefield dominated by speed, stealth, and space-based threats. Its mission is not just to intercept missiles, but to create a defensive bubble that can detect, track, and neutralize any aerial object entering its range. From stealth bombers to hypersonic glide vehicles to low-orbit satellites, the S-600 appears engineered to handle them all. And this capability fundamentally shifts global power dynamics. For the United States and NATO, the arrival of the S-600 raises serious questions. Aircraft once considered untouchable, such as advanced stealth fighters, may now face detection at longer distances. Hypersonic systems under development could find themselves vulnerable before deployment. Even space-based assets like reconnaissance satellites might need new countermeasures. For countries watching from the outside, the S-600 symbolizes a new phase of the air defense race, where speed, automation, and predictive targeting dictate superiority. In the end, the leap from the S-500 to the S-600 is far more than a technological upgrade. It represents a shift in military philosophy, an acknowledgement that the next generation of threats demands a system capable of thinking faster, reacting smarter, and defending broader than anything before. Russia's ability to build such a system under pressure shows not only resilience but strategic foresight. Whether the S-600 becomes the dominant air defense shield of the next decade remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, its arrival has already changed the global conversation. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time as we explore more of the world's most advanced military technology.